Okay, this is the uh, RX test, receive test of the uh, Hustler IC100 CB antenna magnet mount, which I'm going to show you in a second. There it is right there. About the same size as a Wilson Little Will, and I'm on the uh, top of the monument here at Churchill, Richmond, Virginia. That's south side of Richmond, Virginia right there. And the radio for this part of the test is a Voyage, Voyager VR9000. Same thing as a Superstar 3900F or a Galaxy uh, Galaxy 88. Same board, EPT3600 board. And the microphone we're using is an A-Static 636L noise canceling, pretty standard. And uh, this is a six band uh, 240 channel export radio. We have it on the D band right now, which is the CB band channel 19 and uh, you can't see it from here because uh, there's some trees in the way but uh, interstate 95 is right on the other side of this trees behind me so 19 is obviously uh, going to be going pretty crazy but let's just go through the channels and see how the receive sounds on this thing the band is pretty open right now That's one of the local channels, 22. Some skip out of Mexico. That's 26 AM, one of the DX channels. Oh. Yeah, he's pretty local. There's Illinois. Uh, these are locals on 30. It is about uh, 85 degrees or so Fahrenheit right now and getting warmer. Yeah, this guy's on one of the zeros. Twenty-seven three seven zero lower sideband. Some uh, AM QRM there. So the radio. Uh, one of the things to remember about this board: the EPT thirty-six hundred, uh, the Common Ranger board. Uh, it does have a little bit of a drift issue. At, uh, it's temperature extremes. It's getting kind of warm in here. So that's why the frequency counter is moving around a little bit. In the next video we'll show the uh, Superstar which also has uh, the same board in it but that is a six digit frequency counter on it. This is a five digit frequency counter so you can see the actual difference. There's some bleed over. That's 38. There's some AM. AM QRM there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's where the deal is. I've been coming here three times. And I ain't seen the first truck yet. Your, 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 your home was down here today. Your, your, your home was down here today.
And that's one of the local truck depot frequencies, if I remember correctly, to the alpha channels. Some kind of noise on there. That's 3A27995. And there's the Super Bowl. Channel 9. There's 11. Another AM calling channel, the original calling channel. Back when CB was uh, Back when CB was the 23 channels, 11 was the calling channel, and 9 was the emergency channel. Oh, we got 15A. So there's some telemetry down in the background there, it could be skip. 16 is another popular truck channel in Richmond. 17. And we are back at 19. Some trucker chatter on 19. That's 27185. Alright, let's go down real quick and see if there's anything else going on down here. The antenna has not been tuned yet. Just got it out of the box yesterday. I got it in the mail yesterday, rather. So, uh, according to the SWR meter at home, it's uh, resonant at about uh, about 26.7 or thereabouts. So a little bit too long, but that's how they make them, usually. So you can cut them down to the frequency you want it on. And that's in comparison to the uh, with my Browning BR140, which I cut uh, for above channel 40. And this is the lowers. Band C on the exports. Some distance signals on there. Oh, lowers are surprisingly quiet. There's about the resonance for the antenna, about 26.7. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna start this up, see if I can give him a call real quick. How about at 915? How about at 915? This is 704 Richmond, Virginia in this barefoot Voyager. 704 Richmond, Virginia with this barefoot Voyager. We're trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 35 Illinois. 35 Illinois. You got 704 in Richmond, Virginia. 704 in Richmond, Virginia on this Barefoot Voyager 9000. Barefoot Voyager 9000. You're sounding real good here in Richmond, Virginia. Sounding real good here in Richmond, Virginia. Pin in my needle. Roger that. 704 is going to be QRT. Okay, so the antenna has got pretty good transmit capability. I mean, that's uh, about uh, about 7 watts AM peak that we're doing. 
Oh, hold on a second here. Yeah, 915 is pretty busy. 835 and 815 are the alternates for that A for the low channel 1 AM activity. There doesn't seem to be that much on there. Lots of skip coming in. Alright, real quick, we're gonna do the uppers and then do the next radio. And this is still on the Hustler IC100. Very cheap antenna. Just doing some tests. See how well it receives and transmits. Switch it to sideband. Or something. Let's see if we can tune it in. Where are these guys? Set four seven zero lower. That's some uh, Spanish language skip, probably coming out of Mexico or the Caribbean. And 455 is usually the uh, Spanish language calling frequency. 455 upper side bands. Car there. That's a strange frequency that they're on there. Three five upper side band. Five four zero upper is a common one. There's five 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 upper side band. The calling frequency, and it's pretty dead right now. Forget the alpha channels. There's 19. Oh wow, there's 19 up one band. So sometimes there's truckers on there. And there they are. Heavy uh, fading there. Yeah, there's some truckers on there. Similar Spanish language traffic on 27655, or, I'm sorry, 645. Yeah, I, I heard something there, where did it go? Oh, wow. That's right below 10 meters right there. 27885. And now into 10 meters. See if there's any Morse code activity. So we're 
out of the box, uh... This, this antenna has some pretty, uh, pretty good performance. Oh. There it is again. Alright, well, this is part one. This is a three-part video I'm going to be doing here. Uh, and this is with the Voyager. VR9000. And uh, in just a moment we'll be doing the uh, Superstar.